Hey there, this is Marie from The Simple Homeschool Lifestyle, and today I want to share with you an overview of the Bookshark Science Level F curriculum and just give you a few of my initial thoughts on it as I've been using it with my almost 11-year-old over the last month. Okay, so before we jump in, I do want to preface this video with the fact that I did receive this product directly from Bookshark as part of my participation as a member of the Melanated Gold Homeschool Review Squad. Periodically, as a member, I receive complimentary curricula products and resources to use, review, and share with my audience so they can make more informed decisions in their own homeschool. First up is the instructor's guide that comes with 36 weeks worth of learning and lessons, and each is broken down with, into four days of actual um, activity. So you've got your three days working within the spine book and other resources, and then your one day of experiment. So it's a four-day schedule encompassing 36 weeks. Next up, we have the spine. It's how to be good at science, technology, and engineering. This is published by DK, so you know that is going to be a great resource, and it's full of great illustrations that are engaging and kind of get your kids interested. And so I'll just do a quick flip through of that. Then of course we have the science experiments book and I'll flip through this you can kind of see so this would be it towards the end how do friction and gravity affect inertia and then midway through can you make plastic from corn and what's great about this is that you also get a box uh, called Discover and Do, and it has several of the uh, materials that you'll need um, in f to, to do these uh, experiments. So you'll see here that it tells you what is included and what you're going to need to provide. And I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So here you can see um, everything marked with a K is included and the other items, you know, large cup, things like that, that you have at home, most likely food coloring, that kind of thing, are um, the left off. So you know what you are working with before you jump in, because there's nothing worse than working, getting ready to start a, an experiment or demonstration and realizing you don't have everything you need to complete it. So they do give you quite a few items, and it's a fairly large box with all kinds of things. So that's the science experiments book. And then also, and you'll notice here, um, we recently just did this one, how do you know when acids work? And what I like about this is that this is just a general um, acids and bases um, lesson, but it makes it practical in a way that it w makes sense, like a, a way to apply it. So um, acids and bases, how do and acids work? So not only are you learning about and acids, you're seeing how they're used and how you know, something that people are probably familiar with, kids may have seen the parents or a grandparent take Tums, so now they'll understand how it works. And at the end of each experiment, each weekly experiment, there is a data chart that you can actually record your information. For our purposes, we used the paper packet, and these come with the, actually I think the ones we used are towards the back, yeah. So I put the ones we used in the back, so we have um, from one and two, so we've got the antacids one and the catapult one. And then so when we go to do week three, here's what's in your blood data chart. It's, it's sa the same as what is in the, each of the, um, at the end of each of the chapter experiments. So, but we've chosen to just do this because it's easier it's easier to just bring this to the um, table, move it around as we need to, so rather than flipping back and forth within the book. Bookshark is a literature-based program, so as such, it's going to obviously include books to go with your learning. So I do have three of them here that came in this Bookshark Science Level F. We have Water by Trevor Day. And this covers water-related topics like erosion, ocean depth, water cycle, and marine life, icebergs, that kind of thing. So you've got weather, shaping the land, how rivers and things that shape the land, tides and currents, really great illustrations, very engaging. So that's going to be a fun one to work through. 
Next up, we have the Usborne Book of Astronomy and Space with internet links. And if you're familiar with Usborne, you know that this is going to be another fantastic resource. So I will just, again, just flip through here real quick. Very typical of an Usborne book, engaging with internet links. You can do some further learning. And I will have a link below in the description box to uh, a blog post that I wrote that has all of this information in detail with links to the Bookshark website where you can learn more about Bookshark Level F as well as other Bookshark products. Additionally, I do have a link to the homeschool, the Melanated Gold Homeschool Review Squad, and you can see all of the Bookshark products that other members have reviewed as well. So all of that will be in the description box below. The link will be down there so you can check that out. And finally with the literature we have this book um, and it is a biography chapter book by Rachel Car Carson, the marine biologist. This is called Listening to Crickets, a story about Rachel Carlson. Carson. sorry. And this is a chapter book. So looking back to the instructor's guide, we're just going to do a quick flip through so you can kind of see how everything is laid out. I showed you week one, um, you've got your day one, it tells you what to read, um, the activities to do, the activity sheets that you need to do. And then there's a section, an optional do together section, which is on your third day, and that will be over here. And in this case is um, going outside to do some bird watching. So that's an optional item but that's always listed on the day three and the day four is always the um, the experiment. So every week we'll have an experiment and when you do get your packet you'll get this binder plus all of the inserts you just put all of the weekly schedules where they fall in the binder under behind each number. So um, and that's standard for Bookshark. The op it's a very open and go very um, eclectic homeschooler friendly because sometimes we'll go a week or two without um, doing this because we're doing other things like I said we we are eclectic so we'll do some unschooling here and there so it's perfect if you're the type of homeschooler who likes to have curriculum to fall back on but likes to do things on your own as well because everything is all laid out so if you skip a week here and there you know where to pick back up and then if you need to do go to do some review you can go right back to your activity sheets and talk about those so it's it works really well whether you are a very mainstream you like to do things by the book or if you're like us and you like to do things kind of you know on a whim go study something else come back to it it's perfect and it is open and go and like I said it's geared for ages 10 to 13 I've been using this with my almost 11 year old and we've been enjoying it so far um, mainly because of that open go um, aspect to it so here you see um, and then one other thing to note too is that there are notes and those will be in red and those are things that may may be of importance um, to families um, and I'll just give you an example here on this particular one on week one I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it or maybe I'll bring it up further it says um, the note The note here says animal reproduction and mating are introduced on page 21 and human reproduction will be discussed in detail later in the year. So that's something to be aware of and these, these types of notes are in there so you are better prepared and not having any surprises so you can address things before you get to it or know that it's coming so you're not um, scrambling. So that I appreciate as well. And so that is essentially how those are laid out. And so finally, I'm just going to go and flip through this book again so you can kind of see the spine a little bit more in depth and see kind of what is included um, in the lessons. And if you want to learn more about Bookshark Science Level F or any of the other Bookshark products, check out my blog posts in the link below in the description and you'll learn more about um, those in addition to additional reviews from Homeschool, um, the Melanated Gold Homeschool Review Squad, 
All of those links are below. Additionally, there is a section called Bookshark Virtual that has lots of information that you may want to use um, with your student. You can enroll with it, enroll in it when you purchase. Um, you'll also find a link to the uh, instructor guide sample pages that will help you better decide whether this is a curriculum that will work for you. And again, the Bookshark virtual seat page offers everyone who enrolls additional tools and resources that are going to go along with your chosen curriculum. So again, those are all linked below. And I hope this was a little bit helpful in giving you an idea of Bookshark Science Level F, how it's laid out, how it works. We've been enjoying it. And um, I think this is one that we will continue. There's a lot of times we'll start a curriculum and not finish, but I feel like this one eventually we'll finish. Maybe not all 36 consecutive weeks, but definitely coming back to it here and there over the course of the next year or two. So that is that, and I want to thank you for spending time with me going through this. If you have any comments, questions, leave them below, and I will be sure to answer them promptly, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.